Have you ever been curious about the process of transporting pigs from the farm to our meals? With the advancement of technology, the pig farming industry has become increasingly efficient and sophisticated. Join us as we explore the progress in this process. First, let's take a look at the pigs being transported from farms to processing facilities on three-story pig transport trucks. These trucks are equipped with powerful engines with a capacity of up to 400 horsepower and can carry up to 50 pigs, ensuring safe and efficient transportation. Next is the process of transporting pigs on the Muzaffar Nagar pig transport truck. Starting from the farms, the pigs are neatly arranged in the truck's three-tier compartments. With a 400 horsepower engine, the truck moves swiftly and efficiently, ensuring safety and comfort for the pigs throughout the journey. Oh no. Leave a number one in the comments to continue joining us in exploring the journey from pig farming to processing. With nearly 150 million pigs in 2020, Europe is renowned for its large-scale pig farming. To ensure quality, farms strictly adhere to standards for feed and living conditions, and they are regularly inspected. In modern farms across Europe, automated systems precisely calculate and distribute feed to each pig, helping them grow uniformly and healthily. As a result, the pork produced is not only nutritious but also meets Europe's strict food safety and hygiene standards. Pigs are easy to care for, adaptable to various environments, and have high reproductive rates. They typically give birth to two litters a year, with each litter consisting of 8 to 12 piglets.
During the first two weeks after birth, piglets are exclusively fed mother's milk to grow healthily. Vaccination is an important part of protecting the health of the pig herd. These vaccines are designed to prevent common diseases such as swine fever, porcine enteritis, and other diseases that can seriously affect the health and reproductive performance of pigs. Pigs raised on farms are fed three times a day, mainly with grains. This varied diet helps provide all the necessary nutrients, resulting in delicious and high quality meat. Ensuring a sufficient water supply, especially during the summer, is crucial for maintaining the health of the pigs. Don't forget to have a glass of tea to quench your thirst and leave a number one in the comments so I know you're still watching this video. The pig industry in Europe is increasingly focused on protecting the environment. Farmers have implemented energy-saving measures and minimized negative environmental impacts. When the pigs reach maturity, they are transferred to the processing plant. To minimize muscle fatigue during transport, accelerometers are attached to the transport trucks to measure vibrations throughout the journey. This process typically takes place on specialized vehicles, equipped with multiple compartments to ensure the safety and well-being of the pigs throughout the journey. Before boarding the truck, workers use high friction materials to ensure the pig's safety, which is an important preparatory step before they get on the vehicle. Once they arrive at the gathering point, the pigs are allowed to rest before being sent to the slaughterhouse, ensuring they are calm and preventing any negative situations. European farmers often work closely with meat processing plants in the pork supply chain, ensuring a continuous supply from the farm to the consumers. At the processing plant, we always prioritize animal welfare, applying humane and professional slaughtering and processing procedures. The pigs are first placed in a 140 degrees Fahrenheit hot water bath to clean the fur, then passed through a bristle brush system and finally, they are burned at a temperature of 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure food safety hygiene. Each year, around 50 billion cans of pork are produced, 
making a significant contribution to the food processing industry. Canned pork goes through a strict production process, starting with tightly sealing the product. Next, it undergoes thermal processing to eliminate any harmful microorganisms, resulting in a sterile canned meat product. This process ensures that all living microorganisms, including spores, are either destroyed or rendered inactive. Canned meat not only provides high quality protein but also offers convenience for consumers. More importantly, canned meat typically has a low acid content and requires pasteurization unless special precautions are taken. Countries implement strict food safety regulations to ensure the quality of the product. Have you ever witnessed the sausage production process? Join me as we explore a modern sausage factory in South Korea where the art of sausage making has become a unique symbol. The production process begins with carefully selecting high quality meats combined with delicate seasonings such as salt, additives, glucose, lactic acid bacteria, and safe preservatives. Advanced equipment like grinders, mixers, and stuffers assist in the sausage making process with high precision and speed. In the production of raw sausages, the development of microorganisms is a crucial factor in determining the product's quality. In particular, the fermentation process plays a key role in developing the distinct and desired flavor of the sausage. This process is carried out by the activity of natural microorganisms and to ensure both effectiveness and safety, the fermentation process must be tightly controlled. The sausages are then placed in a steam kettle and steamed for about 30 minutes, helping to develop a distinctive flavor and achieve the perfect crispness for the product. The drying, smoking, and fermentation processes are applied to help preserve the sausages for a longer period. The ideal drying speed is as low as possible. An important factor in this process is to prevent the proteins on the sausage surface from coagulating and forming a hard shell.
If the sausages lose moisture too quickly in the early stages, the surface may become hard and form a crust right on the outside of the product. 